you love golfing, but you wear a prescription, oh, stick around, I have some recommendations for you. Hello and welcome, I'm Mike Glass Tyler. Thank you so much for joining me. I wanna to talk to you about our top picks for golf sunglasses that are prescription ready. Well, one thing that I wanna get off the, the docket before, so I don't have to repeat myself over and over, uh, things that we're going to see among all of these frame styles and things that we recommend just for general uh, good golf sunglass use is something that's lightweight. You wanna put it on, you wanna be able to forget about it. You don't want it to affect your game, you want it to enhance your game. So you don't want it to be bothersome and something that's lightweight definitely helps. You want to have grip, ideally on the temple and on the nose. Uh, if there's not both, I'll point it out on each frame as we talk about. Uh, a deeper lens height, so more more lens, more lens real estate, maximizing your lens real estate. The deeper lens is important for when you're practicing a proper swing. You wanna make sure that you're keeping your chin up and that means that when you're looking through the bottom portion of the lens, if it's a proper pair of sunglasses, you're looking still through the sunglass. If it's not, you're gonna be looking under it or you're gonna be looking at a frame rim. And so that's something that's very important that people tend to look for. Of course, all of these are going to be RXable. That's what this whole video is about. Uh, some of them are going to be wrapped, some not so wrapped. That's kind of a personal preference and that's something that you'll find people disagree on. Some people like a more sporty, full wrap, full protection design, but some people don't like that sporty of a look when they're out on the course. And so I'll kind of point to those elements on each frame as we get into it, uh, just to let you know what to expect there. And hopefully at the end of this, you have some better ideas as to something that will work for you. If you feel like I missed anything, by the way, definitely leave comments, uh, questions in the comment section below and we'll get back to you. Let's get started on these frames. Now let's start with the Tafosi Mira. This is a style that is has more feminine sensibilities, I would say. It is it is an amazing sport frame with women in mind. Uh, we're not exclusionary, we are inclusive, so I will still give you uh, the reference on men's sizing for this as well, uh, but just something to get out there because you can tell that this is a little more of a feminine color and that's what you're gonna find with the mirror, but an amazing frame just across the board. This is a semi-rimless option. It also has a really nice deep lens, which of course checks all the boxes because then when you're looking through the bottom portion of that lens, there's no frame to obscure your view or obstruct your view. And so that's really nice. But the other thing that's cool about a semi-rimless style is that it means that it's interchangeable. That means that you can have multiple sets of lenses for the one frame chassis to cater to different light conditions or even different sports. Cause like I mentioned, this is a great frame for lots of different sports. This frame material is made out of Grillamid, which is a very flexible, incredibly durable frame material, which is nice because and it's kind of a double-edged sword because it isn't highly adjustable. So it's not something that you're gonna be able to adjust and wrap behind the backside of the ear, but the good thing on that end of the spectrum is that it's not going to get out of adjustment. If it fits you well off the wall, it's gonna fit you well forever. So that's a cool element of this frame. There is grip on the inside of the temples. There's also a grippy nose pad. Uh, they are made of a hydrophilic grip material, which means that as you sweat, as it gets wet, it actually grips better. The thing I love about this frame is that it's an adjustable nose pad because that's a rare thing to find, especially in a semi-rimless design like this. And so really a cool element I like for that ultra customizability on that bridge fit. The lenses in non-prescription are ventilated, which is great, helps to minimize fogging and optimize clarity. Of course, in prescription, I do wanna note, you will not get those vent holes. So if that's a deal breaker for you, I better tell you now. The SFW on this frame comes in at 131 millimeters, which lands you at a men's small to medium or a women's medium to large. Next up, we have the Oakley Half Jacket 2.0 XL. We've talked about this frame so much, an amazing all around frame. Uh, it is the smaller version of the very popular Flak 2.0 XL. Uh, and if you are unaware, XL, 
refers to the lens height, the lens width. Uh, it, you could call it extended lens. So it gives you a little more lens height, gives you this curve in the bottom of the lens that I call face form. So if you have a higher cheekbone, it kind of wraps up and around that cheekbone. And with the XL version, you do get a little bit more peripheral coverage. And so noting that there is an XL version, there's also a non-XL version. It's gonna give you a little less lens height, a little flatter of a lens uh, and really essentially everything else is the same. It's definitely the same chassis. Uh, and this is semi-rimless as you can very clearly see, which means that all those things I mentioned about semi-rimless apply here. Uh, good wrap design. You can get multiple lenses. It is interchangeable. This frame material is made out of O matter, which again is another very lightweight, extremely durable, very flexible frame material. And the grip on this is unobtainium, which is another hydrophilic grip material, both on the temples and on the nose. This does not have an adjustable nose pad, but it does come with, and there are available to you additional fit nose pads, give you a little more meat on the pad. If you do have a, a flatter or a narrower nose bridge, you can get a little better fit with that. The SFW on this frame comes in at 132 millimeters, which lands you at a men's medium or a women's medium to large. Next up, we have the Maui Jim Hoa Kipa. And now this is an interesting addition and probably one that you wouldn't have seen us recommend a few years ago. And the reason for that is polarized. All Maui Jim is polarized, even when you get it in prescription. Uh, the thing to note about polarized is that it can, in some people, affect your depth perception. So that's the reason we tend to shy away from polarized lenses. However, we see this frame in particular on the course so regularly and so frequently that we've just paid attention to it. And we've heard from all of those people that they love them, that they don't have any issues with the polarized affecting their depth perception or giving them any negative uh, qualities in their game. And I'm guessing that it's because of Maui's technology. Their lens technology is fantastic. That polarized plus two polarized technology is really the best of the best. And it seems to just work fantastically well on the course. With the Hoa Kipa, you get probably the lightest weight. No, I mean, certainly the lightest weight frame on this table. And that is because there's virtually no frame. It is a fully rimless frame design. And it is made out of Grillamid, which again is a very lightweight, very flexible frame material. There is grip on the nose and there is an embedded grip, a textured grip on the inside of the temples. Uh, neither of those are adjustable. Do keep that in mind, but that flexibility does give you a much more wide fit range for certain. In non-prescription, the thing that makes these so dang lightweight is that Maui Pure Lens material, which is incredibly lightweight, fantastic optics, and uh, amazingly scratch resistant in prescription, because of course you can get them in prescription. You can also get polarized plus two lens tech, which is the only thing we'd recommend and the only thing we do when it comes to Maui Jim frames. Another thing to note if you're getting these in prescription is there is a different frame model for the non-prescription version of the Hoa Kipa and the prescription version of the Hoa Kipa. And what you're going to notice that's different is that bar on the back side of the lens, it's running between the outside and inside of the lens is not there in the prescription version. You could consider this to have a bit of a rim on the back side. Even though I said fully rimless, it really does have that fully rimless aesthetic. Um, but in prescription, it really is truly rimless in that it is just drilled into the lens. So the only thing holding the frame to the lenses are those drills holes and so it is truly rimless in prescription that also means that if you have a pair of these already and you want to get them in prescription unfortunately you can't you have to get a whole new frame uh, but talk to us because there are some good deals to be had for sure when it comes to that an sfw of 134 millimeters this comes in at a men's medium or a women's large Next up, we have the Oakley Portal X. This is a favorite because it's a pretty unique design. Uh, it is a really good all around everyday kind of more lifestyle aesthetic, but it has some angles. It has some edges that make it a little more interesting than your everyday pair, as well as a lot of sport elements to it that make it fantastic for a lot of different sport uses, especially golf. This is inspired, if you're familiar with these frames, both the main link and the cross range. And so you have that uh, versatility 
in frame design and frame use. It is a full rim frame here, as you can see. It is kind of more of a medium wrap. It's not a, a true lifestyle flat lens and it's not a true wrap. You get kind of that mid-range wrap curvature on this lens with the O-Matter frame material. Again, very durable, very flexible. A ton of that unobtainium grip material on the temples and a unique bridge design, which I really, really like. It's a, a saddle style bridge design with that unobtainium that helps to disperse the weight a little more by uh, going around the top, just like a saddle would, going on the top of your nose bridge and kind of dispersing that weight. I love this saddle style nose bridge and it's gonna help to grip that much better. Of course, in prescription, they are also available with Oakley's Prism Tech. That's their color enhancing, even sport specific tint technology. Since we're talking about golf of course you can get it in prism golf you can get it in prism dark golf in prescription do not skip on that lens it is amazing with an sfw of 136 millimeters this comes in in a men's medium to large or a women's large And last but not least, we have the Smith Low Down 2. This is the option here that is the most lifestyle, really truly athleisure, everyday wear, uh, but still great on the course. So this is a four base lens, much flatter, but as you can see, a huge lens. So you have a ton of lens real estate. You have a lot of lens height. So this is just amazing for the sport. And this is a great pick for those of you who like a more everyday look on the course but something that will still perform well while you're on the course. This is made out of Grillamid TR90, which is again, very lightweight, very durable, and it has no slip Megal nose pads, which again is a good hydrophilic nose pad material. There is no grip on the inside of the temples and there isn't any adjustability in this frame material. Again, that's that double-edged sword thing where it is going to maintain its shape forever, but that also means that you can't really alter its shape. Uh, but with the auto lock hinges, it is very durable and it will stay on your face really well. In non-prescription, of course, available in Smith's Chroma Pop Tint Technology. And before we talk about size, I will mention that this is available in both a slim and an XL size. So this is that mid-range medium size, which I'll give you specifics on in just a moment. But if you're a smaller fit or you're more of an XL fit, we still have you covered with the lowdown too. The SFW on this guy comes in at 136 millimeters, which lands you at a men's medium to large or a women's large. So that wraps up our top picks for best RXable golf sunglasses. I hope now you have a much better idea, at least for what to look for in prescription ready golf sunglasses, but maybe one of these sounds right for you. Again, do not hesitate to reach out to us. And by the way, if you decide to order from Sport RX, thanks to our See Better guarantee, you never have to worry about getting something that isn't right or just doesn't work for you. You have as long as 45 days to figure that out. Then you just reach out to us. We take care of you no matter what that means on our end. And also we have opticians, like I mentioned, who would love to help you get it right the first time. So reach out to us. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was interesting or valuable information. If so, throw us a like because it helps us out. You can find relevant videos over here and also we have great content on our social media outlets and I would encourage you to check us out there as well because we have great content there too. We are at SportRx.